everyone. Welcome back to our family story time video today. So we'll be continuing the the topic of self confidence. Mm -hmm. So last time, what we talked about? Ready mode versus crazy mode. Crazy mode, okay. yeah. Crazy mode. So mm -hmm. we should always follow the ready mode, not the crazy mode. The crazy mode. So today we'll be discussing more four tips mm -hmm. how to develop the self confidence. discussing more four tips how to develop the self confidence so the number two is pressure makes diamond how true it is what is your idea on this pressure makes diamond yeah, yeah. how the diamond is made right. yeah, why yeah. Why? you need a, you give you a to lot. dig really deep down in the mine mining like stages and it's not really easy to make it takes a lot of time to get the human not make it the diamond is made itself by nature so how it is made because I'm pretty sure because of lava or something, the volcano stuff. I don't know. I don't know, no. I don't no. know how the time is made. So do you know what is coal? Yeah. Coal yeah. mine? Coal. So coal is under the ground, yeah? Yeah. And when the coal is left for mid let us say thousands of years. Yeah. And when there's a but deep and deep, okay. Yeah. Then the, due to the pressure and the temperature, the same coal becomes gold. Not all the coal will become diamond, oh. okay? But where there is an intense pressure and the temperature available, then the same coal that you burn to cook mm -hmm. food yeah. will become diamond. Wow. But aren't diamonds mostly found like volcano areas? Could be. That's right, though. It's a fire. Okay. So any coal, let us say a wood, okay? Wood is trapped in the mud and it is thousands of years there. The sap will become the oil, the gas, yes, yeah. the juice, and the what is the, the left wood, okay, will become coal, carbon, okay, and that carbon, if again left thousands of years, then to the pressure and the temperature, the same thing will become gold, oh. I mean the diamond, okay, so this is the process of making diamond, so what we can learn from there, so pressure makes diamond, so you might hear that, oh, you should not tell your kids, uh, give a lot of information, Okay. Yeah. Because their mind is not able to accept that. Okay, yeah. it will be a, a lot of information. Okay, mm -hmm. but that's that is also true. But this is also true that without pressure and temperature, you cannot get done. Okay, so there should be a balance. Okay, you should know where where to give yeah, pressure. Exactly. Yeah, you should know <laughs> where to, to give, give pressure. pressure. Yeah. Okay? So, for example, if we see in the real life, like. Uh, Harry Potter was rejected 10 times before getting accepted. Yes. So it is the kind of reputation. You have to keep on repeating the thing. But the right word is not the repetition. You can see persistent. You keep on doing. Oh, yeah. Persistent. Okay? Keep on doing with persistence. Repetition is a little lighter word, but the persistence is a good word. Okay. Yeah. That, you keep, that you keep on doing. Okay. For example, the Thomas Edison failed the, the light bulb experiment more than thousands of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if anybody is there or you, you fail, then you will be disappointed and then okay, depressed. Yeah, so, so many things will happen in life. Yeah. If somebody tells you something, then you become mad, disappointed. Okay. But look, the guys who changed the world has been the failure thousands of times. Mm -hmm. Persistent. Because, because he was in, persistent. Yeah, because mm -hmm. in each failure they learn something. That's the attitude. Okay? If you don't learn something, then you will start banning. You, you will oppose. But in everything there is a chance to learn. Okay? So it is not like that the, the pressure is bad thing. Okay? Without pressure we can make that. Okay? So we have to be persistent and repeat the information many times so that you can digest. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the second tips to to build up your self confidence. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to take the pressure. You have to take the risk. Without that, it is not possible to do something different. You will be end up as a 
mama. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go to the third tips to develop your self-confidence. It is the idea is the self-talk. What do you mean by self-talk? Self-talk. Talk yeah. to myself. Yeah. yeah. So give some example how you do the self-talk. Like when when you're doing something by yourself, just randomly you start talking to yourself like how can I do this or something? Okay, let's see. You have a presentation next week. What do you do? How do you prepare? Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. put the camera and then I prepare myself. I watch. That's a self talk. Okay. Oh, you, that's a self talk? That's called self talk. Oh, I thought All so. you can do is go to your washroom and what you want to speak in front of the mirror, mirror. you can speak. Yeah. That is a self talk. So, self talk, build your self confidence. Oh, if you have okay. something problem, if you are not able to speak properly, practice 10 minutes every day in the morning in front of the mirror, your speech will be improved. So self-talk, when talking. you are when you are alone, then you can do yeah, it, but it, not, in no. <laughs> okay. not in a public. No. Okay. Not in a public. Yeah, you are public, saying. you are doing the real things. <laughs> yeah? you, are, you are public, you are talking in front of the people. Okay, the situation. Self-talk means it is, you are talking inside, mm -hmm. to yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the best example is that the washroom in front of the mirror. Okay. So what you can self-talk is that, for example, you can say I'm the best. Okay, I can do that. Oh yeah. I will, I will not accept my failure. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to beat that algorithm. Okay, whatever you are trying to do. Mm -hmm. That is to telling to yourself. Now the you, you might be say that, oh, that's ego. To, to saying to myself, I am the best, I can do whatever I want. It is not that ego. What do you see? That, that? is an ego. That's a good ego. Though. That's ego? Ego, but no, that ego that makes ego. you uh, more no, stronger. It's not ego. You have to understand the difference between ego and self esteem. Praising. You are praising yourself, right? The two words I told you the ego, ego. and the self esteem. self esteem. So, what is the difference between ego and self esteem? Ego and self esteem. Self esteem is like. Ego is kind of like your, uh, okay, I'll start with self-esteem. Self-esteem is like you're building inside of you, like, all of your skills and everything. Self-talk? Yeah, self and talk, you're like, uh, mm -hmm. skill inside. Mm -hmm. And then ego is kind of like your judging. Judging is fine. Yeah, you are very close, but you are not able to hammer the nail. Ego, uh, maybe putting others down. Exactly. Yeah. Ego is related to other people. Mm -hmm. If you compare with other pe people, like my car is best than their car. I am best than he, these people. Then that is called yeah, But the, if you are talking to yourself, oh, that's awesome. I will beat that. Okay, you are comparing to yourself. That is called the self-esteem, and that's not the ego. Okay, so mm -hmm. self-esteem can be developed by self-talk. Okay, and uh, that's not the ego. That will yeah. empower yourself. Yeah, it's like singers, they practice themselves, right? They're yeah. singing and yeah. then keep on doing. Yeah. And they're singing to themselves. They are audience also, the person is singer yeah. too. So if that is ego, then they cannot improve. That's not ego. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? That's the self-esteem. That's why they are able to do. Yeah. Okay? So you have to clearly understand these uh, things, okay? Yeah. So self is you need to motivate yourself. Otherwise, you don't have energy to... To put a lot of energy on your work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that can be done by self-talk, and that's not the ego. Okay? Yeah. Ego is that you compare with the other thing outside of your body. Okay? That is called the ego. So we summarize the the self-talk and uh, the pressure makes diamond. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let's go to the fourth tip. Mm -hmm. The fourth tip is especially to the kids and the parents. The fourth tip is parents do not fix the mistakes. Don't fix the no. mistakes of anyone? Yeah, for the kids. Or for the, as a parent, you That's don't a, for example, we are saying don't fix the mix, uh, mistakes if you are a parent, okay? Uh -huh. Don't fix the mistake of the child what they are doing. Mm -hmm. What is that? What does it mean? If you don't fix the mistake, it will be worse. Because How do like, you see that? You want like the child to like get their own understanding and like try to learn themselves. Child will not have a one understanding because child mind is not developed to understand. Okay. <laughs> yes, child is child. 
If they have understanding, they will not do. Okay? So how do you handle these things? Do not fix the mistakes. What does it mean? Hmm? Don't fix the mistake. Maybe like Encourage a... them. So we have child. Yeah. Okay? And the child will do something funny. That's obvious. Okay? He or she will want something that's not, uh, let us say, appropriate. Mm -hmm. or, or he or she is doing some work or playing something, not in a proper way. Let us say, for example, you are playing soccer. Okay? And your trainer is, uh, is giving direction. Okay. Let us say you, you, you are throwing the basketball. So your trainer is saying that put your hand like this before you throw the ball in the net. But you didn't be proper. Your hand was not proper. Okay. What the trainer should say? Hey, I told you to do this uh, hand like this, but you are not doing. Second time you did, trainer told you to put your leg back, one leg back and one leg front, and then throw. Not with the both legs together. Don't throw that. Put one leg back and put leg one leg front and then throw. You did it, but not proper. What the trainer should say? Hey, I told you thousands of times, but you are doing the same mistake. Is this the right way to train your kids? Let's say your kids is doing the same thing. No. If you say like this, what the message you are throwing on the kid's mind? That yeah, kind of like discouraging. You are just discouraging that you can't do this basketball. Yes? If you do this few weeks, write down, your kids can never be the best basketball player. So oh, that is an example. How is the training works then? Yes, that's a good question. How it works? Yeah, like uh, for example, the trainer is saying, "Don't yeah. do that way." I told you do this way. Yeah. He's trying to train that person. Yeah. So, so the trainer what he is doing is not good. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so how is that work? Do not fix the mistake. That is the key point. But. Like how can like that? So the other choice, other way. What other way? Like, uh, do not. Uh, okay, how about you? Like you doing this? Yeah. Uh, the same thing you put the other way. You are very close, but yeah. we are not pinpointing. Okay. So look, what we do we have to do? But that's what the mistake we every people are. The doing. trainer should like try yeah. to encourage him to do it a different way, which is like easy instead of like yelling at him. Kind of. Like, okay, so this is the way. How about if you put that way, like this? What? Like they, they, the trainer say, oh, don't do that that way. Instead of saying that, okay, what will happen if you put the ball like this? Mm -hmm. If they will say this way. Like, let the person... Okay, so the first mistake was, the boy or the girl didn't put the proper hand to throw the basketball. And the second mistake was, the boy and the girl didn't put front and leg, the front and back leg at the proper position to throw the basketball. Mm -hmm. So these are the two mistakes the kids did. Mm -hmm. Yes? And as a parent, you are saying that, put your hands together like this and then throw the ball. But the kids didn't do it properly. And again, you say that, put the leg front and back and throw the ball. And the kids didn't do it properly. And you say that, I told you many times, put the leg like this and throw the ball. Put the hands like this and throw the ball. The two mistakes the kids did, and you are trying to fix the mistake. Yes? That's not the way to do the same thing. Okay. Then so what is the way? What to is the way? Yeah, what is the way? The way is to not do not try to fix the mistake. You know the kids did two mistakes. Yes? So now if you want to develop the self-confidence of anyone, whether this is kids or adult, it does not matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you have to do is check out your mind from the mistake. What the kids did. So they didn't put the proper hand together. Okay. So what you can do is, okay, mm -hmm. you need to make that work happen. You want these two mistakes to be to be fixed. rectified, to be fixed. fixed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that way you cannot fix. If you try to fix the mistake, you have to check the another way. The way that develop the self confidence. Okay. So the, the way is to develop the same confidence is that, okay, you told that you put the hand like this and throw the ball, but the kids didn't do that, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you have to say is, well, you did very good. 
you put your hand but it was not properly right but that was the thing that you need to practice more time okay but you did good job i'm happy with that but you need to a little more improve do not fix the mistake okay don't say that you don't did good job okay do not put the negative sense there okay so you have to say the same thing in a different way okay you did very good job Okay. Yeah, that's what about, I meant to. Yeah, but then, yeah, that's yeah. what I meant to. Uh, yeah, so you are not trying to fix the mistake. You are not pointing that you cannot, you cannot, you don't throw the ball like this. You don't say that. Yeah, but then like some students, like you know, for example, if it was like a kid, and sometimes they think that they're doing really good if the teacher says that to them, right? Mm-hmm. So then they're they're gonna think that they're doing absolutely the best, and then they might not want to improve it that much. That's why like some people. Work better under strictness. It depends on the firmness. Time. Yeah, yeah. Firm. More sometimes the the more firm the teacher is, the better that person works. Yeah. Because sometimes if the teacher is not that firm, yeah, then I, they're then they like think that they're already doing really good. Yeah. I have yeah. also that experience yeah. also yeah. in the when working with the children. It's mm-hmm. like if I'm not strong with my words, mm-hmm. they don't listen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I I don't want to use that word listen. I mean, it, they don't want to focus, do the what, probably, focus. Yeah. yeah so if it's it's the tone yeah that's that's fine so what you did you trying to fix the mistake and if you yelled that don't do this oh uh, no no okay? not yelling okay let us say you you are in a strong way yeah you are From not me. in a light way okay so the the kids will do that will yeah. do the proper work but the self confidence will not be there. Yeah. so then that build, is the key you're going to build egos instead yeah, exactly right. they will do the work but the self confidence is destroyed there but that some, is the problem then, some, then yeah. if you if you say that one it's like a long process it is long process <laughs> nothing is easy okay if you and want to develop the self confidence okay you so have you to have to be clear about it like what i'm trying to teach that yeah, child exactly you have to be clear yeah i'm not teaching them Not, not fixing, fixing the, the problem mistake, mistake. Yeah. I'm trying to teach trying them to develop the self confidence. Yeah. Okay. Then that not only so that mistake, the, mm-hmm. then the kids, if the self confidence is developed, then he or she will do the all things. Yeah, good. it depends on the training. But if you focus on the only that thing, she will do. If you are or if you be strong on that, he or she will do. But the next thing again will be the mistake because the self confidence is hampered. Okay. So self, if you want, that is the focus. If you want to teach something to the kids, okay, then focus on developing the self confidence. How can you do that? Yeah, so For example, we were to... trying to to multiplying the, the to give the information to Nina, multiplying four times four, yeah. But she was annoyed, yeah, because mm-hmm. it yeah, is too hard. it is it is hard for, <laughs> for her. her. Yeah. Yes. So if you keep on doing like that, then what will happen? She will be afraid of the math. <laughs> Yes, the self confidence will be destroyed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have to take the different way now. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. What the way she she will understand how how to it is not only to just to understand what is four times four. If the self confidence is developed, then he or she will do whatever nine times nine two. Okay. So focus on self confidence. Okay. And that is that. Do not fix the mistake. Try to develop the self confidence in a different way. That fixing is just an example. Okay. So that is the what will happen is let us say the two soccer player or two basketball player is there. Okay, and you are saying to something, "Hey, do like this," and then the ball will go to the net. Okay, but the other guy is also playing there. And he is just listening. Okay, and you are not that guy is not part of the team, but he or she is listening. By just listening, he was doing amazing. Because his or her self confidence has not been hampered because you are not adding to those boys or girls. Okay, so this is the magic. Okay, if you pass the information with the attitude to develop self confidence, it is a defined the entire world. Okay, so the idea is not to fix the mistake. The idea is to focus on the self confidence. Just like I told Lance many times that. With Lena, why you are arguing like that? Okay? That is the key, because you are trying to fix the what she is doing, yeah. But you are focusing the whole big part, 
That is the self-confidence. You are destroying the self-confidence and trying to teach something that is not very right. He or she will learn, but you are destroying the whole carrier of self-confidence which the she, he or she will leave. Then, okay. So that was the step, uh, tips number four. And the tips number five, let's go to the last tips, the, the number five. Is what is that? Acknowledgement. No, so appreciate it. what you have. Okay. So do you remember one story that I, I have told you before? That there was a guy, okay, and he did very good job in his life, and he earned a lot of money. He has a lot of uh, everything what he has wanted in life, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, then he thought that I have everything now. But still, he was not happy. He was not fully satisfied. Okay, something is. He has a lot of business, a lot of money. Okay, so his life was like a like a crazy life. Okay, but he was thinking in the beginning when he has nothing. If I would have money, my life would be very good. He was thinking like that. He worked very yeah, hard. Me. Yeah. He mm. worked very hard, and he got everything. Mm. He established his business. He has millions of dollars now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he realized that, no, still I am not happy. I have everything now. But there's still something is puzzling me. Mm -hmm. Okay? So he thought that, okay, he just remembered that, oh, there are the many monks and these people who are very cool and calm. You don't have any anger. You don't have any, their life is very peaceful. Mm -hmm. So he, what he decided is, oh, I'm going to give all, the, all the, the, the money to them so that I can live my peaceful life like them. Because they don't have anything, but they are so peaceful. They are still happy. Yeah. They are still happy. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to be happy like them. I was thinking that if I have money, then I will be happy, but that's not right. Yeah. So he decided to, he, he took all his money yeah. and went to the monk to give that money and ask for, happy. beg, beg for, give me that blessing to, that I will be living my life so happily like you. Mm. And I will, give, I, I will give all the money. Okay. So he went there to the monk. As soon as he went, as soon as the monk saw the money, he grabbed the money and went from there. The monk. Yeah, the monk went, went up from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then the guy became very angry. So I came here to to ask for the peace, but the monk itself is so greedy for the money. <laughs> okay, I was thinking that these guys are very cool and uh, very peaceful. Mm. But look, he has not my money. Yeah. So he started to chase. But the guy went so far that he was not able to. He was going behind and behind, but he tired and it became evening and he, he did not find the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he returned back. Now he wants that money. Yeah. He because money he has nothing money. left now. Yeah? yeah. He has no money. So he, so you are thinking, oh, I was thinking if I don't have money, I will give them, then they will give me the peace and I will be living peaceful life. Now, neither I met the mom and neither I have money now. So at least if I have money, I can live peacefully. Mm -hmm. So he desperately wanted that money. Mm -hmm. but, but he chased and chased and chased, but he didn't find. Mm -hmm. So he sadly he returned to home mm -hmm. in the evening. When he came home, the guy, the, guy the guy, the monk with the money was sitting in, in his house. Yeah. And when he saw that guy, okay, you are here. Give me that money right now. Why you took my money? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, wa I want that money right now. I don't want to listen to anything. Just give my money. Mm -hmm. At least I will live my life peaceful with that money. And then the monk asked. Mm -hmm. Remember. When you came first time to me, you wanted to give me the money to have a peace. Now, you want it is just the me. evening. Yeah. Now you want that money to peace. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. That shows that money cannot make you peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So money is not the it's thing just the that, tools. Yeah. I think it's a tool. Yeah, it's a tool. So appreciate what you have. Okay. It is not that the money will make you happy or sad, okay? It is your attitude, okay? It is your conditioning of your mind, yeah. okay? Even though 
do you just need the morning and the evening food to live the life? If you have that, you are the blessed person in the world. Yes? Yes. So, so many crimes, so many bad things are happening in this world. is all because of that misunderstanding of the money. That yeah. this will do that, this will do that. Okay, that's not the thing. Okay, so appreciate what you have. That is more than enough to live a peaceful life on this planet. And you can inspire other people to do the better job in the world. As a human being, if you have come to this planet, what is your job? Just to eat and, and to have a children? Is that the main goal? If that is the main goal, the animals do too. So what is the difference between you and the animals? Nothing. Nothing different. Okay? So that's not the way. Okay? Appreciate what you have and build from there and try to help as many as people you can help. That's what it should be the goal of the life. Okay? Yeah. So we covered all these five tips, how to build the self-confidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, any more questions you have on this? No. That no, okay. I have questions. It's okay, just try to act. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, so we will wrap up uh, this topic here today here. Yeah. And then we'll see you next time in the next uh, topic. Thank you. Bye-bye.